Hi, I'm Kirsten Dunst. Welcome to my home. I'm Jane Hallworth, and I helped a little bit. Actress Kirsten Dunst claims she loves staying home and rarely leaves. After you see her stunning Los Angeles property where she lives with her other half actor Jesse Plemons, you'll know why. The charming celebrity couple is in the San Fernando Valley area along with their two sons in a timeless ranch-style home that's been decorated with heirlooms and other stylish pieces. Kirsten mixed her glamorous aesthetic with Jessie's southern roots for a unique look throughout the home's interiors. Prior to this, Kirsten also owned a waterfront home in Toluca Lake that boasted over 4,300 square feet of space, five bedrooms, and a Cape Cod style. She sold this property for $4.55 million soon after listing it. Not to mention, in March 2024, the actress's former New York City penthouse won in the market for $7 million. This industrial chic apartment is perched on top of a pre-war co-op in Lower Manhattan and offers oversized arched windows, 11-foot ceilings, tons of exposed brick, and more. Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons' love began on the set of the critically acclaimed TV show Fargo in 2015, where the famous actors portrayed a married couple, Peggy and Ed Bloomquist, whose relationship faced numerous trials amidst the backdrop of crime and chaos. While working together, Dunst and Plemons formed a strong bond that blossomed into a real-life romance. Their chemistry on-screen was mirrored by their genuine affection for each other off-screen, capturing the hearts of fans and media alike. In 2017, the couple announced their engagement, marking the beginning of a new chapter in their love story. Since then, they have remained steadfast partners, supporting each other through the highs and lows of life in the spotlight. Their home life is characterized by warmth, laughter, and a shared sense of adventure. Nestled in the serene San Fernando Valley area of Los Angeles, their cozy ranch house serves as a sanctuary where they can unwind and create lasting memories with their two sons, Ennis and James. Before we get into their main home, let's take a look at a property Kirsten sold for $4.55 million back in 2019. This was the actress's longtime home for nearly two decades, and it was located right on the water in Toluca Lake, Los Angeles. Constructed in 1960, the Cape Cod style estate spans 4,333 square feet and is made up of five bedrooms, a well appointed gourmet kitchen, and an inviting step down living room. Nestled beside the lake, the house offers a serene waterfront setting, yet from the street it presents itself as a charming cottage surrounded by a white picket fence, an arbor entrance gate, and complemented by an English style garden. Upon entering the inside of Kirsten's home, boasted a contemporary ambiance blending modern elements seamlessly with its classic architectural style. The residence features an office, family room, and a formal dining room providing space for both work and leisure. Moving up to the second floor, the light-filled master suite awaits complete with a generously sized jetted tub, dual sink vanity, and two walk-in closets. An awning covered balcony extends from the suite offering views of the landscaped gardens, tranquil lake, and mountains beyond. The expansive backyard spans three levels, showcasing a spacious brick patio adorned with a charming gazebo and outdoor kitchen, ideal for entertaining guests. A sparkling pool and relaxing spa round out the yard, and a private dock provides direct access to the lake. Kirsten quietly acquired the Toluca Lake property back in 2001 for $2.6 million. Throughout the years, the residence has also served as a retreat for her family members, mainly her mother Inez, brother Christian Dunst, and grandmother Melba. In March 2024, another residence Kirsten once owned on the East Coast went up for sale at $7 million, her former penthouse in New York City. The industrial chic apartment occupies the uppermost level of a pre-war co-op in the vibrant Hudson Square neighborhood of Lower Manhattan. Initially purchased by Kirsten for $3 million in 2007, she later sold the property in 2018 for a profitable $4.4 million before it briefly transitioned into a at 12500 per month. Distinguished by oversized arch windows, soaring 11-foot ceilings, wide plank hardwood floors, and plenty of exposed brick, Dunn's former apartment recently underwent a huge renovation. The two-bedroom, two-bathroom residence boasts a reimagined open chef's kitchen featuring state-of-the-art appliances, luxury marble countertops, and blue cabinet. Primary suite has also been meticulously redesigned with a custom-built wardrobe leading to a windowed walk-in 
linen closet. The ensuite bathroom offers a vintage soaking tub, a separate shower stall, custom mosaic tile floors, and a towel warmer. An additional bedroom separated from the living room by sliding glass and brass panels currently serves as a library, complete with a discreetly concealed Murphy bed nestled within built-in shelving. Right next to this lies the second bathroom. Notably, the historic venue was once the site of the renowned Canal Zone Party in 1978, organized by Stan Peskett, Michael Holman, and Fab Five Freddy. Over the years, the co-op building has attracted its fair share of celebrity residents, including former REM frontman Michael Stipe and director Gus Van Sant. Additionally, ex-brothers-in-law Casey Affleck and Joaquin Phoenix were reported to have shared an apartment in the building too. While those properties are stunning, when it comes to her current home, it's exactly what Kirsten has always wanted. Alongside her fiancé actor Jesse Plemons and their two sons, Ennis and James, she resides in a timeless ranch house in the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles. The home is filled with heirlooms and decorative pieces passed down through her family, all incorporated in the interior with help from designer Jane Hallworth. Jane and Kirsten have been friends for years, and the actress called Jane to assist her in creating her family home, a kind of reimagined Scandinavian lake house tucked in the Hollywood Hills. Looking at Kirsten and Jesse's unique property, we can see that Kirsten knows what she likes. She told Architectural Digest, I don't like featured walls, and I don't like white kitchens, and I don't like open concepts. How about that? Give me a room where I can shut a door. Considering that, we can see Kirsten's kitchen in her LA home is Bordeaux in color, but there is some contrast thanks to the white wood ceiling above, while a main feature is a wooden beam above the stove. The couple's 1930s ranch home is full of their personalities. Before enlisting Jane's help with the interiors, structural renovations were carried out on the property, and the result was a home with a gorgeous layout. Kirsten shared, I wasn't particularly interested in clothes and cars, but I was excited about my home. And Kirsten wanted thoughtful decorations throughout the spaces. Taking the helm and designing the cozy family home, Kirsten infused elements of Jessie's southern roots alongside her own glamorous touch. There's a dash of Jessie's cowboy aesthetic mixed in with Kirsten's more glamorous things. Jean said. Unsurprisingly, Kirsten and Jesse's inviting home has become the preferred gathering spot for their loved ones. Our home is the gathering spot where everyone comes to eat, drink, swim, make music. The bar is always in full swing. We want people to have a good time. So as much as we value pretty, nothing is too precious. We can see that there are plenty of cozy living rooms, many wooden accents, and a stylish dining room with sloped wood beam ceiling above. There are some French doors connecting interiors to outdoor spaces, while all throughout, you can find family heirlooms and sentimental decorations decorations, making the space truly fit for the celebrity couple. Out back, there's a sparkling pool surrounded by sun loungers and greenery for more privacy. Altogether, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons' home has become a beloved gathering spot for friends and family where laughter fills the air and music echoes through the halls. Whether they're hosting lively gatherings or enjoying quiet moments together as a family, the couple prioritizes creating a nurturing and welcoming environment for their loved ones. As they navigate the joys and challenges of parenthood and Hollywood careers, Kirsten and Jesse remain committed to each other, their family, and the enduring bond they share. With their genuine affection and unwavering support for one another, they continue to inspire fans around the world with their enduring love story. Well, that wraps up today's video. Answer this question for me before you go. What family heirlooms would be important for you to display in your house? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. I'm Carrie Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye everyone. Hey everyone, it's Kara or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. 
Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It with Kara and we can chat.